Hello everybody! Today for Sunday Fun Day we're going to see how I draw a backyard brawler. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, Sunday fun day. So that means I can do whatever I want, however I want, in any manner I seem fit. So, I'm, uh, I came up with this idea of a, a backyard brawler, kind of like a, uh, illegal boxing match wrestler or, you know, a backstreet or a brawler, you know, kind of like a, if you have a, uh, um, uh, illegal wrestling or illegal fighting matches, uh, of, of people that just get around and, and I don't know why I'm trying to explain this. I just, uh, <laughs> I came up with the crazy idea of a guy who fights a, a butcher, a butcher who fights for money in unsanctioned fighting matches in the backyard. Look, alliteration works. It helps. It, it makes things uh, flow much easier. <laughs> so backyard brawler seemed seemed uh, like a funny thing to to say. Okay, so I'm gonna make him strong and over exaggerated. And uh, like I said, he's gonna be a butcher. So I'm gonna give him an apron this and it also help uh, just to, to break up the monotony of just a regular clothed clothed man okay and again it's Sunday fun day I get to do whatever I want I really don't have to explain it I'm just trying to come up with I guess the idea of what I was thinking I guess I wasn't really thinking I was just creating something right Okay. So, and you can think of yours too. Like if you're like, yeah, okay, what if what if it was the baker? You know, the baker, the butcher, and the uh the candlestick maker. <laughs> and they all got into a fight. Hey, we might be onto something here. So maybe maybe next round we'll do that. We'll do the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker, and they'll all be fighters. <laughs> in this illegal backyard fighting uh, match, you know? <laughs> All right, I think we might be onto something. Okay, so let's make the butcher. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him some big muscles. He's strong, because he has to cut that meat and cart around those big uh, animal carcasses that he cuts up. So we're gonna make him strong, right? Okay, let me just draw these fingers in real quick. All right, that'll work. Let's see, for this one, I'm just gonna do like a, uh, ooh, you know what, I should draw like a, no, I don't want him weapons. I don't wanna give him weapons. Or I kinda do, but I don't. Um, I don't wanna give him a, a, a typical, like if I give him a butcher's knife or one of those big, you know, chef knives, it, it, that's too too easy to fight with you know what I mean like it may be it may be a backyard brawling uh, fighting match but there needs to be some rules right there needs to be a little bit of okay but you can't you can't that's like bringing a gun to a fight you know it's like what's the point so let's say he's got a club right because now that I think about it the the, the baker will have a, uh, a a rolling pin, you know, that'll be his weapon of choice. So we'll give him my favorite uh, stumpy club. So he'll have just a a club with knobs on it. There we go, and that'll be his little weapon. <laughs> All right, so let me draw his head real fast. We're gonna give him a squatty little head. part his hair on the side, kind of like this old school. Since we're going with the old 
uh, butcher and baker candlestick the old you know uh, whatever we're gonna call this the 1800s right because that's when all that was uh, was uh, needed well, now we got the grocery store who needs that stuff so. um, we'll give him like the old uh, look I guess is what I'm trying to go for what I'm trying to say Okay, um, but what I was trying to say is I'm going to give him an old big burly mustache, and no, we'll leave it at that. I was going to give him a big beard, but no, let's let's just give him the big burly mustache. Maybe a little bit of a, a little goatee like that. Okay. I'm going to give him a collar because he's prim and proper. There we go. All right. There, something like that. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's get going. Let's uh, let's erase some of these sketch lines, even though the majority of it is sketch lines, and we'll stick with the confidence lines, because that's all I really need to work with, right? I always want to work with confidence, not with sketchiness. Okay. All right. Here we go with the Backyard Brawler series. <laughs> I don't know why they're fighting. Maybe, maybe for... Well, no, they're not in competition, right? Because it's not like you're going to go to a butcher if you need a baker, and you're not going to go to a candlestick maker if you need a butcher. You know? So, there's no reason for them to fight. They're just a bunch of dumb people that fight. Um, okay, so let's welcome everybody to the Sharpie portion. Welcome, Skippers! Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie Fine Point and a Sharpie Pen. Mostly the Fine Point, but the pen's a little finer than the Fine Point and can find the things that the Fine Point can't quite find. So, I'm going to start with this, and I've already sketched the entire thing out. I've erased a majority of it, but I've got a faint ghost of an image that I can work with. So I'm going to start with his eyes and draw the top lids like this just to see if I've got him where I want him. Looks like I do. So I'm going to give him uh, some retinas. Retinas. You can tell I'm from Texas. So let's give him some pupils like this. It's a little, that's a little wide-eyed, so I'm going, to, I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. A little, little more lazy eye like this. Oops, a little too much on that one. But that's okay. We're going to go with it. That's just how he looks. He's a unique individual with a little bit more of a, a lazy eye over this one. So we'll go ahead and draw that lazy eye like this. And uh, I'm going to give him big bushy eyebrows. So the idea behind this, if you're not, if you weren't in the uh, um, sketch version portion, I guess, is uh, I I just kind of came up with the 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 uh, an, not analytical, but the uh, alliterative word of backyard brawler. And while I was explaining it, while I'm trying to figure it out, I was like, you know what? This is going to be a new series of just three, but. Um, there are, there's going to be the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker, and they fight for some strange reason. So this is the butcher, and um, uh, he's going to have an old-timey, like, 1800s look, because that's when you needed a butcher, a baker, and candlestick maker, right? You don't need him now. It's a grocery store. Uh, so anyway, so there's his big, his big honker nose. I'm going to draw his cheek over here to finish off this side of his body, and I'm going to thicken this edge up a little bit because when I switch over to this, this Sharpie, you're gonna see a huge difference in size. So, uh, I'm gonna give him a, a roundish head, on the top like this, just gonna follow his old skull dome, come down, and I'm gonna do like that for his hair because I'm gonna have him a, a little baldish, and uh, in here I'm gonna draw some, some hair off to the side, wisping off like this, okay? There we go, and uh, I'll thicken that up. I just wanted to draw it real fast and just see if it was where I wanted it to be. And you don't have to thicken it up if you're working with a pencil. I'm just doing this because, like I said, 
I know what's about to, ooh, that was really thick. I didn't mean to go that thick. Um, I know what this is going to look like, so I'm trying to match what's about to happen. All right, so I'm gonna draw his ear over here. His hair is a little bit over it, so I'm gonna bring it under like this. I'm gonna draw the inside of the ear, kind of like that, just kind of giving him some kind of texture. And let's go ahead also and give him some big old chops. All right? Like that. Okay, so I'm also gonna give him a little bit of a, a, a cranium dome, just a little bit of edge like that. And let's also give him, just because I can, he's big enough I could do this this time, a little bit of a eye uh, extension right there. Normally I don't, like for the bottom of the eye, I just do that and let the iris uh, um, kind of pretend, or not uh, not pretend, um, um, imply that the bottom of the eye is right there because with these Sharpies they'll bleed so I don't want to do too much. If you're drawing with pencil, you're welcome to draw underneath that, that eye right there, but this will start to bleed so I'm not going to. Alright, so I'm going to give him his big burly mustache like this. We'll go ahead and curve it up just a little bit. Just a little bit of a, a dramatic curl there. I'm going to come this way too. Dramatic curl. Again, just thicken it up just a little bit like that. All right, so now I'm going to draw the bottom. Well, his lips are kind of covered up, so I'm just going to come in with the chin and just kind of bring it in like this. Up to his neck. He's got kind of a big Popeye chin. That's okay. We're getting a little, a little crazy, a little comical here, right? All right. So there's a little bit of a neck because he's, he's big and burly. And I think I'm going to switch over to the big Sharpie now and work on his, his, his build. So I have his, his shirt kind of tucked in. See how thick that is? That's why I wanted to specifically um, be able to match it like this. Okay, so he, like I said, he's a butcher, so I'm gonna give him an apron. So we're just gonna tie it on with a little bit of rope. So I'm just gonna do like this. And that's the knot that it's gonna be. And we'll do this end over here too. We're gonna knot it up right there. So that means the inside, or the apron, is gonna be right here, inside all that, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna connect that real fast. Let's go ahead and draw that apron and we can build behind it. So it's gonna come in like this And I'm gonna have another string a rope uh, holding it together Like this Okay, this side you won't see because it's wrapped around his body so I can bring this down just hanging like this And then I'll go ahead and just do this end You can see more bends in his body on this side like that Ooh, that's not thick enough. I don't like a fade. I wanted I wanted uh, dramatic lines, not faded lines, because I'm going to color this in, and I want uh, those lines to be there. Okay, so I'm going to add some creases and folds, just because uh, it's it's material. It's not um, armor, you know. So so it does have some some folds, some some bends in it, you know. There we go. All right. So now I'm gonna draw, he's got one arm up, you know, showing off his muscles and the other one holding a, a, a like a fighting billy club. So I'm gonna draw his chest over here. Ooh, this Sharpie has had it. This just the last time I'm gonna use a Sharpie because it's, it's fading and it's not giving me a thick line like I want. So I'm gonna draw his shoulder up over here and I'm gonna draw his sleeve like that. Kind of curled up a little bit over his muscle and go like that but his forearm is going to get in the way so that's all we're going to draw of that part so i'm going to draw the under part of the arm here to his elbow like this and his big gigantic forearm like that here's the back of it okay so i'll go ahead and stress a few lines real fast so i'm going to do a bicep like this and i'm going to do some stress of the uh, 
his, his wrist like that. We'll go ahead and just add a little bit of an elbow. Again, just to draw a little bit of a little bit of stress. Something like that. Just some some flex lines, you know, because he's flexing his muscles. He's a big old strong man. Alright, so his wrist is it, well, I mean his fist is just uh, that. It's just a fist. So we're gonna draw the back of the hand like this. Here are the knuckles. This finger is up a little bit while these are down, okay? But the thumb is right here, so we're only gonna draw that much of it. And so now I can draw the other fingers down like this, like this, curl that in, oops. And this one's tucked in because it's the pinky, you're gonna see that. And let me add just a little bit of extra detail here because we can because it's it's the stress of the hand all curled up, you know. And I'm not going to do the knuckle lines. Um, I'll do that with color. There we go. Okay, so let's do this one over here. And same thing. It's just kind of over with the big shoulder. Here's his bicep. And oh yeah, we're going to do the shirt like we did right there. So we'll go ahead and draw that sleeve. Kind of like this all tucked over. Like that. And let's see, his, his bicep is like this, coming into his forearm. Now, this arm is kind of pointed at you, kind of we're doing some foreshortening. So the wrist, or the fist, why do I keep saying wrist, the fist? So the fist is kind of straight at you like that, okay? So we're gonna see this top part. So that means we're gonna draw the knuckles like this. And then the fingers, we're gonna draw the middle finger first tucked in over itself like that, okay? Other one like this, the pinky like that. The reason I did that is because I want this finger, let's see, well the thumb is over all this, okay? And come in like that, but I want this finger to be up a little bit more. So this knuckle is gonna be, I'll do it with this one so you can see better. This knuckle is gonna be up like this, kind of, uh, at a little bit of a different angle, okay? Kind of like that. We're just going to exaggerate some of those lines. There's the... Ooh, I'm drawing with the, sharp, the wrong Sharpie. I shouldn't be doing that. There's the bottom of his hand into his, his forearm, which is, again, foreshortened behind this hand so you can't see as much. Now, I drew like a little uh, uh, stubby um, uh, like mallet. I guess, I don't know what the word to say is, but I, I drew it back here. Now my sketch now changed, so now it's going up this way. So I'm gonna calibrate for the way it's going and build up this way. And I'm gonna draw some, some nubs. I don't know why these look more deadly to me than a knife, but I don't know, maybe it's just the, the thought of getting hit with something like this is very, it seems very painful to me. You know, it's like, I, I don't wanna get hit by something like that but just uh, um, like a like a studded, uh, balled up stick with, with just nubs all over it. I don't know, it just seems painful to me, you know? And I couldn't even tell you what those things are, why it's got nubs on it. For some strange reason, that just looks deadly to me, you know? So that's his nub stick, nubbins. His little nubbins, that's what he fights with. All right, so we'll just say his bicep is over like this, and that's all you can see. We'll go ahead and cover that up because, um, oof, I don't like that. I don't like this Sharpie anymore because of the angle that it's at, okay? So I'm going to bring his back in like this, and um, we'll say his pants are like right here, and now we can draw them. So let's draw this leg just sticking out this way. He's very very exaggerated he's leaning on this leg really really showing off okay so I'm gonna come down to his knee like that so see what I'm seeing how he's really he's really uh, um, squatting in his position kind of showing off look at my biceps I don't know why he's got a voice like that but he does and uh, he just all, all all stretched out showing off okay so I'm gonna give him some like little combat boots very uh, simple boots, but they get the job done. So 
something like that. And again, you know I like my creases and folds, so I'm gonna add a few. And there's to where the laces would be. We'll go ahead and just close that off and make it something dramatic like that. You know I like adding creases and folds, which just shows stress on material. Especially in something like this, where it's very, very dramatic, very stressed. Okay? Alright. Let's do the other leg now. So same thing, we're just going to stretch it way out like this. I know that's floating, but there's a reason you'll see in a second. I wanted to draw his booty over it like that. Okay, so that's where his knee is going to be. Stretch this leg in like this. Same thing, we're going to stress those pants. There's where his boot's going to be. All right, so, so see how I got him super, super stretched out? So we're gonna draw his other boot like this, puts down like that. So see, he's really, really, really dramatic with his posing in this one. That, give it a heel. We're gonna draw that line over like we did there. And now, I'm gonna add some stress lines like we were talking about, so. All right. I'm going to add some creases and folds. You don't have to do the exact lines like I'm doing. I'm just doing this to where I imagine like some lines and, and, and creases would be in his pants from sitting like this. And there would be more here, but because of that, we don't have to worry about it. We can't see them. Real dramatic ones here because it's really, really stretched out, you know? Okay, and let's draw that front, like where his laces would be. Something like this. So there you go. That broke up the monotony of nothing. Like, there's nothing there, but there's nothing we can really do about that. That's just going to be color, you know? We can maybe do something like that, but we'll leave it like this. So let's take care of the rest with color. So that is the Butcher from the Backyard Brawlers. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.